There's an old expression in meteorology that spin begets spin. Every spinning system tends to have smaller spinning systems within it. The atmosphere is a fluid. Our Earth spins, and so the atmosphere does too. The jet stream circulates around the globe. Eddies form within its snake-like slithers. Each dip in the jet stream brews a low-pressure system. Within those broader lows, we get a surface low-pressure cyclone. In the spring months, surface lows can cook up spinning thunderstorms. As thunderstorms blossom, they start to spin too. We call them supercells. Within a supercell, there's a more concentrated pillar of rotation we call the mesocyclone. From the mesocyclone descends the elusive tornado. But even tornadoes have smaller worlds within them. All right, gang, huge tornado, multiple vortices near El Dorado, Oklahoma. Again, El Dorado, Oklahoma. It's moving towards me. It's probably a quarter mile away, but look at that massive tornado. We call these subvortices. Now, major tornado, multiple vortex satellites. It just destroyed structures. Unsure if it's actually going to hit the town, but Harlan, tornado emergency. They're like miniature tornadoes that carousel around a parent funnel and enhance wind speeds even more. Tornadoes are like snakes. Where there's one, there's usually others. Let's talk about why. The parent low pressure systems that can give rise to supercell thunderstorms often spawn multiple supercells at once. That's how tornado outbreaks happen. On April 26, 2024, I captured four different tornadoes from three different supercells, all within a 50 mile radius. But individual supercells can also produce multiple tornadoes. We call these tornado families. Tornado families are the result of something called cyclical tornado genesis. Some long track supercells might cycle a dozen or more times, with tornadoes each cycle. When a tornado starts to die, it tends to get dragged north into the rain and hail. Cold, sinking air kills the funnel. But that same parrot mesocyclone, or column of spin, might spawn a new tornado in the warm air to the south or southwest. That handoff can take 5, 10, maybe 20 minutes. We call it cycling. This storm on May 3rd, 1999 produced 20 tornadoes over its six-hour path. The longer lived the supercell, the more members its tornado family might wind up with. But that's not the only way a supercell might spawn multiple tornadoes. On very rare occasions, a single storm might have two rotating updrafts, two mesocyclones. Each might produce a tornado. The legendary Bill Hart captured these videos of twins and triplets during the equally legendary Dodge City outbreak on May 24th, 2016. I saw twins on May 23rd, 2024, near El Dorado and Duke, Oklahoma. All right, guys, twin enormous tornadoes. One there, and one there. Two tornadoes, one storm. I also saw brief twins on April 26th, 2024, near Dwight, Nebraska. This is one of the most amazing sights I've ever seen, and the tornado is still on the ground. All my attention was focused on this beautiful sunlit rope tornado but a second one briefly descended to the east. One thing that scares every storm chaser? Satellite tornadoes. On May 28th, 2019, a serious EF4 tornado hit Linwood, Kansas. Just the bark stripped off the ground. And that's one of the ways that in general, the National Weather Service can confirm whether or not it's tornado damage or straight line wind damage. But a storm chasing van two miles away was hit by a surprise tornado far from the main tornado. That's not all that uncommon. The biggest tornadoes oftentimes have smaller little tornadoes orbiting them. We call them satellite tornadoes. Basically, there's so much vorticity or spin in the air, and you have air rushing in to fuel the main tornado so fast. Sometimes a little bit of that air curls back on itself and gets stretched vertically into a weaker tornado that spins around the main one. I saw a second funnel near the main tornado in Blair, Nebraska on April 26th last year. Then we also have something called noodles, and yes, it's a real term. You see these little tendrils protruding out from the main tornado? They actually tend to spin the wrong way more often than not. You see, any counterclockwise spin will usually get ingested into the counterclockwise spinning tornado. But clockwise spin can't really get absorbed, so sometimes it gets wrapped around into these weird extra funnels 
they're a harbinger of extremely strong tornadoes. As a noodle gets stretched by the tornado's upward motion, the air pressure drops, causing a cloud to appear. That's why we can see the noodles. So if you ever see a tornado with noodles, run. This is McFarland Boulevard, right? We got it back. We got it back. Here it goes. Let's pan over to the left. Oh my goodness. goodness. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look at all the stuff flying around up there. That, that, that's coming over. Uh, that's coming over near Interstate 359 in Skyland. Nobody should be out there. Uh, this thing is going to be coming basically right down Skyland Boulevard. This is an extremely violent situation. Notice the power flashes. Please. It just passed the Tuscaloosa County or the Tuscaloosa City Police the, the Department. The police department is down there. It's the, crossing over the industrial area in South Tuscaloosa near all the places where they take the car. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.